guys, welcome back to my Leicester City career mode, the Leicester City Challenge. And today we're back with episode 3. As you saw from the previous two episodes, it didn't go too well at all, did it, in the opening few games of the season. That loss in the Community Shield versus Manchester United was terrible. And then that defeat in our opening game of the season against Hull away from home was total BS. But I'm back anyway and we're going to continue on. Hopefully we can get ourselves on the board in terms of points. And as you can see in the table, we are in 16, but it's very, very early. So let's see if we can improve that situation. We've got two matches for you today. We have Arsenal at home in the Premier League. And we have a return game against Hull. Back against them. But this time in the English Football League Cup. And that'll be at home. So Spurs have accepted the transfer offer for Jan Vertonghen, which I didn't show in the first couple of episodes because I didn't have enough money to accept his contract. But they've re-accepted the transfer offer I put in for him again. So let's go and get him into the club. He wants 100 grand a week, which won't be a problem. And I think this will be a great addition to our defence. I'm also going to inquire about Etienne Capu from Watford. He's been at the club since 2015, so we might be able to get him on a bit of a cheap. We'll have to see, but I think he'll be a good addition to the midfield. Especially, I think we need someone a bit more better in there than rather than drink water. Drink water is good, don't get me wrong, but I think Etienne Capu will bring a bit more strength. And as you can see there, he's got his traits as standing and sliding tackling. So. I think he would replace drink water in CDM. And they've returned saying they want 10 million for Kapu. So we'll see if we can offer that to them. 10 and a half will knock it down to 10 million pound exactly. Right then, it's time for our first match of the episode. Arsenal is the visitors today to the King Power Stadium so let's get right into it hopefully this won't be easy we know Arsenal are a very good team on FIFA but hopefully we can get something from it so here we go then for the first match of the episode it is Leicester City versus Arsenal there's Arsene Wenger very realistic I have to say today we line up then we've got Jeremy Vardy up front we've got five at the back I'm trying that system out to see if it does any better we've got four midfield with Jeremy Vardy being the lone striker he's been in tremendous form recently And there he is, well, I'm going to call him Frank De Boer, to be honest, because it does look a lot more like him, as, already, as I've already said. Arsene Wenger looks like he's Arsene. ready for it. This is how his team lines up. We've got Danny Welbeck up front, Spina for some reason in goal. And I've got a 4-5-1. Lots of pace in that team with Walker and oxlade Chamberlain on the wing. So here we go then for Leicester City versus Arsenal, the King Power Stadium. It's our first home game in the league. Hopefully we can get a decent result from it. It will not be easy though. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Arsenal and then early chance. And the early shot goes wide from Walcott. But when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get caught out. Oh, and they've scored. Arsenal take an early lead. And once again, we cannot do anything about it. Well back with a goal. And they just dance around your players, they do. Some poor defending, though, to be honest. And Arsenal take the lead. Now it's confirmed. To Manchester United, yeah, and I think that's a, a really good sign. And the fans are excited, maybe excited. Cut off. Oh, off the post, and it's gone over. walk up with a shot there. It's all Arsenal. Mm -hmm. 
Right, on the break with Mendy. Moving forward with some danger. Chance here for Mendy, and Mendy scores! But the ref the assistant is going to put his flag up. Shocking decision. Just when we need some luck. We need a break. And that is so tight. He is offside, but that is so tight to call. And the goal has been disallowed. Right, can we get a chance before the whistle blows for half time? Crosses in. And it's a save from the keeper, Ospina. It's a chance that was. Yellow card for Walcott in the process. So, not too bad in that first half. A couple of chances for us, one disallowed goal. But at half time, it is Arsenal. It is Arsenal who have the lead by a goal to nil. Right then, can we break with Vardy? Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now. They're Gets here. round one. Chance in the box, and it's a goal with Andy King with a header, and it's him who gets us back in this match. It was a great counter attack from us, using Vardy's pace to get round Mertesacker, I believe it was, and then also Vardy with a cross and King with a very good header into the back of the net keeper with no chance and we've managed to score our first goal of the season guys it's been a long time coming but finally we're back in this match and it's one each Attacking third. Olivier Giroud. great build up nearly in here good through pass And that goes the full-time whistle, and we've got a very good point against Arsenal in our first home game of the season. I will take that any day of the week. One each against Arsenal. A very good game indeed. Not many chances around. Arsenal probably shaded their chances, but a goal from Andy King to equalise it at one each after Arsenal took the lead in the first half. A good game from us. We defended. I think we defended decent better than our first couple of matches and managed to get our first goal of the season in a row which is absolutely vital and looks like the fans are more than happy with that full time Leicester City 1 Arsenal 1 Jan Vertonghen has accepted his contract offer so he will be coming to the club brilliant signing for us from Spurs and Watford have accepted the offer for Etienne Capou 10 million pound so I'm going to go and offer him a contract. We'll offer him 55, 5%. Right then, second match of the episode and the final match of the episode is the game in the English Football League Cup against Hull City. We lost to these in the league in the opening game by one goal to know a very fortunate goal they scored. But the team that will be playing will be the second team I've made a load of changes, so it's not that important if we go out because obviously the league is the main thing. And Leicester City last season was knocked out early stages of the FA Cup and the League Cup. So if it happens again this season, it wouldn't be the biggest deal ever. Here we go then, Leicester City versus Hull City in the first round of the Football League Cup. conduct himself with charm and humility and humour. He was a breath of fresh air to our game and... Uh, Really likeable fella. Well, they're in a good position here. Chance good straight pass. away with drink water. Yuzhou's in the box, and Yuzhou scores. And already we take the lead against Hull City. A fantastic play straight from the kickoff. And some good possession down that left hand side. Drink water with the cross. And Yuzhou with the header. And very good header indeed. This time Marshall couldn't save it. Was good progress with this attack. Plays it this to Gray. Great start from over. us. Chance to get a cross in again. Ujoa and Marshall with a save, and it was almost 2 0. 
and that tactic of using Gray's pace and Mora's then this side as well, putting crosses in onto Ajoa. So far it's working out. And that will be half time. Uh, first half in which I would say we have dominated. It's a good first half performance from us. We have the lead as well through Leonardo Ajoa's header early on. Very hard to make openings, let alone score. Yeah, I mean, one of those can be quite exhausting. Oh, and it's gone in. Hull have equalised from that free kick. Absolutely nothing I could have done about it. And they've had not a single chance in the whole match. And they managed to score still. Corner. Played in. And it's wide from Amati. Another chance. Goals begging. Miles wide. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. And it's a chance, and it's in from Mares. And finally, we break down Hall again. It took a long time, and this time we get back into the lead. Mares with his first goal of the season. It would be delighted with that. It's a good finish in the end. It came from that free kick. And it's some very good play indeed. Ujoa with a pass to Mares. It's a great finish from the Algerian. And we've gone back into the lead. Two goals to one now. Marshall probably could have saved that. But this time he didn't. And finally we take the lead again. Chances. Alan, but it's a goal. They've still got the lead. Yeah, and they're knocking the ball about with a fair and bit of on the wing. And, uh, they look pretty secure with this lead at the moment. We make it three, and we do. James, who has just come on, and it's another headed goal. And it's man of the moment, James, who has scored and sealed the victory for us, I should think, in this one. Or Brighton, it also will just come on to them to. Teaming up really down that right hand side. And it's a good cross from Brighton off the crossbar and him from James. And that should seal the victory. Marshall beaten for a third time and it looks like we'll be progressing through to the next round of the cup. And that's going to be full time in this one. We progress through to the next round of the Football League Cup with a 3-1 victory over Hull. Good match in the end and some good goals as well. Right then guys, we're going to wrap up the episode there. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back tomorrow for episode number four of my Lesser City Challenge career mode. Remember to leave a like on it and subscribe for plenty more and I'll see you very soon. Peace out.